Have you ever stopped to think about what a big deal food is in our lives? It is a humongous part of our lives. And I think often we um, don't recognize it as being such an influence as it is. If you think about it, food is deeply involved in almost every aspect of our lives. It affects our family events, our family schedule, what we do as a family, family activities, celebrations. It's very much involved in that. Um, Social events are always centered around food or 90% of the time. And the food that is served, where you go, what you do has a major influence on that event. It's kind of the centerpiece sometimes of those events. Um, It can also cause stress. Food causes massive stress, whether it's the... um, spending involved with it, the shopping, the budgeting, the planning, the cooking, the time it takes to buy it, to cook it, to prep it. Um, Food has a major effect on our health. It either helps us be healthier or works against us. Um, It has a major effect on our body image. Whether we like ourselves or not has largely dependent upon food and our Um, thoughts around it, what we, what emotions we feel it carries, um, whether it's guilty, you know, pleasure or naughty foods or the connotations that we put on food when we consume it, that has a huge effect on our psyche and our body image. And food is one of our biggest fears, not having it, not having enough. In fact, it's such an important psychological need, um, sorry, physiological need, that without enough food, you cannot learn, you cannot think, you cannot do anything. Without, if you're hungry, everything else goes out the window. You just can't do anything else. So with all of that influence, with all of the um, ways that it has its fingers in our lives, why don't we know more? Why don't we know where it comes from? Why don't we know how to eat, to help ourselves be healthier, to have that healthy body image, to help that health, have that healthy mental state. We don't know how to cook and plan meals effectively. Often, sometimes if we're lucky, we get taught along the way, but a lot of times we don't know, and we just wing it or we figure it out. Um, and when it comes to not knowing where your food comes from, Sure. We know it comes from the grocery store, right? But do you really know where your food comes from? Do you know where upon the, where in that supply chain, you know, it was maybe injected with certain preservatives or chemicals or, um, antibiotics, steroids, like what, what are you putting in your body? Do you really know? Or do we want to know? Cause that's the other thing. Some of us don't want to know because ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Did you know that you make 227 food-related choices every day? 227 food-related choices every day. That is a massive influence on your life. We need to be educated. We need to know how to make the best decision, right? If you made 227 money-related choices, wouldn't you want to make sure that they were the right choices? for you and your lifestyle and your goals and your dreams, money is no, I mean, sorry, food is no different. I would argue that it might be more important because if you're sick, it doesn't matter how much money is in the bank. What if it were easy? What if 200 out of those 227 choices were easy and educated? What kind of effect would that have on your life? That's a massive chunk. And The easy part is the part I want to address. What if it was easy? What if it wasn't stressful? What if it wasn't overwhelming? What if it didn't feel like you just can't win? Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to not have to be stressed out and, and irritated and, you know, have this, this work up in your system when you're trying to make a decision about what you want to eat for lunch. That would be amazing. Maybe that's not you. Maybe you don't stress over at it. Cool. (laughs) This is not for you. Keep swiping. But I'm guessing if you're watching this, especially this far in, it is for you. 75% of U.S. residents will die of a lifestyle related disease. 75% of us. That means 
that 75% of us can and should make choices in order to prevent that death from a lifestyle related disease. We're talking heart disease, um, metabolic syndrome, all things related to obesity, diabetes, all of that stuff that can all be prevented. It can all be prevented if you can make educated decisions 227 times a day. So if diet is 80% of how your body runs, like diet, 80% of the, the way that your body is, the shape, the size, how it's functioning is based upon your diet. And 75% of us have the likelihood of dying from a lifestyle related disease. If you educate those decisions, if you make good decisions with the the 80% of the time that you put shove space, stuff in your face, can't talk today. That means you take your risk of dying from a lifestyle related disease from 75% down to 40%. Doesn't that sound good? I think that sounds amazing. If I could reduce my odds by more than half, Yes, please. I would love that. And I'm going to tell you that that can be a goal of yours, but you can't just set a goal. You can't just set a goal of making educated decisions. You can't just set a goal of learning about food and how to make it better for you. You have to have a plan. Making goals is great. That's step one. Step two is making a plan to get to that goal, right? Have you ever had a kid be like, I'm going to go run, um, I'm going to dig to China in my sandbox. They have to have a plan, right? And they get their little shovel. You know that that, that plan is not going to work. The same thing happens when we go, I'm going to lose weight. I am going to get healthy. I don't even know what that means. Maybe you do for you. But deciding to get healthy isn't effective. Deciding to get healthy and then educating yourself on how to do it and making a plan that works. You have to have a plan. So if you would like to reduce your risk down to 40% or even lower, and if you would like to know what the heck you're eating, I got you. I don't know if you've seen, I hope you have, because I have been blasting it all over the place. Um, starting this week on Thursday, I am going to be hosting a three-day food fight and it's going to be amazing. It is going to be in my Facebook group. We are going to talk about all of these things. I'm going to give you tools. I'm going to give you action steps. I'm going to educate you so that you can reduce the stress and reduce the overwhelm and the frustration that surrounds food. You can finally feel like, you know, what you want to do, whether it's, you want to cook, you want, don't want to cook, whatever. We're going to make a plan that you feel good about so that that can be one less thing you have to worry about every day. And maybe those 227 choices that you make every day can be reduced and leave some brain space for the important stuff like work, you know, family, things like that. If you're constantly obsessing over food, if you're obsessing over what you should eat or shouldn't eat, what you should cook or shouldn't cook, if you want to cook or you don't want to cook, whether you're going to go out or you're not going to go out or it's cost too much to buy food, but then you don't have time and all the things, if your brain is constantly spinning out on that, you need to join me. It is live. It is free. It is in my Facebook group Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 12 PM mountain time. I do want you to register ahead of time. Even if you're already a member of the group, because you're going to get replays that you have access to forever. You're welcome to go back and look at all the time. You're going to have access to your workbook that you're going to need to use to really take advantage of the advice I'm going to give. And then there's all kinds of freebies. There's all kinds of goodies um, discounts. I've got some really awesome options in there. So I hope that you'll join me. I hope you'll share this with a friend and invite them to join. I recognize that you may not be able to join me live. I hope you will, but if you can't register and you can get those replays. Okay. Cause I want you to get this information. I want to reduce your stress. I want you to be less likely to die from eating bad food. Okay. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> I think that sounds amazing. So join me Thursday at noon in my Facebook group. I'll see you there.